So there you go, unboxing of the S22 Ultra in green. I don't know why Samsung sent it in that huge box as it still doesn't include a charger. So, so much for saving the environment. Anyway, today we're taking a look at these three speaking cases for the S22 Ultra. The first one we'll be looking at is the Neo Hybrid. Then we've got the Tough Armor. And then finally, we'll look at the Slim Armor CS. All these cases have been tested on our brand new S22 Ultra in green, which we unboxed just this morning. Right, let's dive in. First up, we have Spigen's Neo Hybrid case. Spigen makes some fantastic case, and this is certainly no different. It's nice and easy to get on the phone, but won't come off easily. The buttons also feel absolutely fantastic to press, thanks to there being slits either side of them. On the bottom, there's just a little bit extra room around the S Pen, which makes getting it in and out a lot easier. However, the favorite thing about this case is the design and the feel in the hands. It has this lovely pattern on the back, which gives a nice texture without it being grippy. There's then a plastic bar around the sides and across the back. This makes it feel very solid in the hands and less like you have a case on it. I do think the plastic might scratch and dent fairly easily on the sides, so it may look a little bit rough around the edges after a few drops. This is also not the most protective case that Spigen has to offer, but it is one of the best looking in my opinion. I just wish that they produced this in more colors as they've got this in black, graphite, and also a red, which goes quite well with the red S22 Ultra. Next up, let's take a look at the infamous Tough Armor case, which is many people's go-to case. Let's start with the material. The outside has a polycarbonate cover, which will help fend off scratches and knocks to the back of the phone. Then the corners where your phone sit are flexible thermoplastic polyurethane. This is perfect for absorbing shock if you drop your phone and gives you confidence that your phone will be safe. It doesn't stop there though, as there's a third layer inside the case which will further cushion your phone and help protect it against shocks. As with all speaking cases, the buttons on the case feel fantastic and have a satisfying click. I really appreciate that the power button is grooved and then there's a nice plus and minus symbol on the volume rocker. This makes pressing them that little bit more satisfying and you know which button you're pressing. Moving to the back of the case, you'll notice this fold out stand. This is ideal on the S22 Ultra and S22 Plus models as you can make the most of that big screen on trains or planes by sitting back and watching some films. I really appreciate as well that this kickstand sits flush with the rest of the case so it's not going to rock around when you put your phone flat on the table. Around the front, there's a nice bezel on the top and bottom. This will lift the screen up and protect it if you place your phone face down on a surface. As the sides of the S22 Ultra are curved, the sides are not raised like the top and bottom. This is so you can still access the edges of the display. What I personally really like about this case is that it's thin, but you can still tell that it will protect your device if dropped. Adding to the fact it has a kickstand which sits flush when folded away and you have a very nice all-rounder case. Next up, we have the Slim Armor CS case. This case not only protects your phone, but also aims to become your wallet too. The main part of the case is made from a rubber gel material which makes getting it on and off the phone fairly easy. Just like the Neo Hybrid case we looked at before, it has individual cutouts for each lens, therefore protecting them a little bit more than the Tough Armor case. Moving to the size, there's no grippy texture, but it's certainly not as slippy as the Neo Hybrid, thanks to the rubber being a little bit more prominent on this model. Moving on to the card holder, this is made from plastic, so it feels pretty solid in the hands. To open it, you simply slide it to the right. It's easy to open, but not to the point where you're going to open it by mistake. The tray underneath will comfortably fit two cards in, but any more than that and it starts to bulge out. Overall, it's quite handy, although I do find it hard to get the cards out, 
so I probably wouldn't be putting cards that I often use in here. I think this wallet section is probably most handy for train tickets or gym cards. So there you go, three fantastic cases for the S22 Ultra, all which suit slightly different needs. We have the Neo Hybrid, which is a thin, stylish case, which feels incredible in the hands. Then we've got the Tough Armor, which is by far the most protective and offers that flush mounted kickstand. Then finally, the wallet case, which is not my personal favorite. However, if you only carry a couple of cards around, it may be a good option for you. All these cases will perfectly protect your S22 Ultra. To buy any of these cases we've talked about today, please head to the links in the description below.